A question that I get often is, how are you able to tell male blue jays from female blue jays? In this video, I will try my best to do a good job of answering that question. Over the years, I've gotten to know the blue jays in my area very well, some individuals I have known for years. All the time I've spent with them has helped me to recognize some differences. These are the females I know. Sweet girl. Abby. Snowy. And Cosmos. And these are the males I know. Blue. Hermoso. Webster. And Feisty J. I just want to add that I've known many other male and female Jays over the years. The ones I've mentioned here are the ones who are still with me. Visually, there is no distinction between female and male Blue Jays. Well, actually, that isn't entirely true, but I will get to that in a second. One thing we can probably all agree on about Blue Jays is that we love their blue color. Unlike with other species of blue colored birds though, such as buntings and bluebirds, where the males are more colorful than the females, that's not the case with blue jays. Females are just as blue as males. Well, at least to our eyes. You see, birds' eyes contain four cone cells, receptors used for color vision. We only have three. Also, one of the cones in birds is specifically sensitive to UV wavelengths. And there's another difference. In birds, each cone cell contains a tiny drop of colored oil that human cells lack. The oil drop functions much like a filter on a camera lens. This means that not only can birds see UV light, but they are also better at detecting differences between two similar colors than we are. Although a female and male blue jay to our eyes may not look different, it's possible that to their eyes there is a difference. So is there any visual clues we can detect? Yes, but it takes for you to see a mated pair together and up close. If you see a pair side by side, you will notice that the male is slightly larger than the female. So, generally, females are smaller than males. But let's be realistic here. Blue jays are pretty skittish birds, so how many people are going to see them up close the way that I do? Not many. The best way to tell them apart is through behavior. First, let me say, don't bother looking for aggressiveness, thinking that it would be the males who are aggressive. Females can be just as aggressive. A pair defends the territory together. And also, not all males are very aggressive. Hermoso is one male I've known for six years, and he has never been really all that aggressive. A behavior that you can look out for that will definitely tell you which is male and female is food offerings. Male jays give food offerings to their female, which is best seen during spring and summer but you can see it through the entire year too, just not as often in winter. Also, in spring, single males and females look for a mate. A courtship ritual you can look out for during this time is when a bunch of male jays will surround one female jay, like here. She watches them as they make calls and compete with one another for her attention. After a while, she will take flight with each of the males following behind her. So the one watching the males and the one later being chased is the female. Another way to tell a male and female jay apart is when they are nesting. If you should discover a blue jay nest, the one sitting on the eggs is always the female because the male does not develop a brood patch. Instead, he is the food deliverer and drops by dozens of times throughout the day long enough to feed the chicks and the female as well as to collect the nestling's fecal sacs. It's a pretty busy job of his. One last behavioral way to tell them apart is through their calls. Female blue jays make a call that is known as the rattle call. This call sounds kind of like a low growl and is used when another jay intrudes on a pair of space. Only females make this call, so if you hear one making it, you know for sure that it's a female. Also, they normally bob their body up and down while making the rattle call. Luckily, it's a very common call, especially during autumn when jays group up together. A lot of tension is bound to surface when a lot of jays are together in one area, making the chances of hearing this rattle call much greater. 
And finally, males. Males also have their own call. This one. It's known as the squeaky gate call. This call is used a lot throughout the entire year, but it is much more frequently used during spring, suggesting that it's some sort of territorial call. Males often use it when one male intrudes on another male's territory, or if they are just in the same vicinity as one another, kind of like how it is for the female's rattle call. I have never heard any of the females that I know make this call, ever. I've known Sweet Girl for six years, and I've spent copious amounts of time around her, and never has she ever used that call. Same with the other females. It definitely seems to be a male J call only. There you have it, some of the things that you can look for to help you determine who is male and who is female. I'm sure it will still be a little tricky at times though, but that is the only ways I know of to tell them apart. If there's something else I'm unaware of, feel free to comment below. Also, if there is a bird topic you would like for me to cover, let me know in the comments. Happy birding! Hey, me again. Just want to let you all know that finally, for the first time, I now have limited edition Bird Nerd t-shirts and hoodies. T-shirts are $20 and hoodies are $35. If you like what I do and would like to help support me in my ongoing efforts of content creation, as well as have a pretty cool shirt, head on over to bonfire.com to order one. The link will be in the description below. Thanks for your time.